Hello YouTube. Uh, this video I'm going to do a review of uh, Win Miner. This is the uh, one-click mining application that uh, I switched to when NiceHash uh, site went down, and they're still down. I've been so I was looking for an alternative, and this is what I found. Uh, I, I pretty much like it actually. It's the alpha version. I was lucky enough to be able to get into and register an account with them. I did that uh, the afternoon and the night hash went down. And uh, so a lot of other people who weren't quite as quick getting in as I was, uh, when they tried, it said uh, they couldn't, they wouldn't let them set up an account because they were, the alpha test group was full. So, but mine is working and as you can see here, it's showing my two rigs. First rig is the my gaming machine, a GTX 960, and my second rig is a dedicated mining rig, which is a GTX uh, 1070. Uh, actually, it's a Asus uh, Strix GTX 1060 overclocked with eight gigabytes. The 960 only has two gigabytes, and it shows you uh, that I'm making what, uh, 263.5 a day on my mining rig and 93 cents a day on my gaming machine. So it also tells you, probably more importantly, the hash rate. The hash rate on the uh, 1070 when doing, when mining ZEC is 457 and on the 960 also mining ZEC is 162. Uh, they don't always mine both the same uh, coins. Sometimes one is Zek and the other one is uh, Zen. Uh, I've seen on uh, briefly a few other uh, smaller crypto coins being mined, but those are the ones that principally mined. Unlike when I was mining on Nighthash, which pretty much didn't mine uh, Zen or Zek ever. But I know that the uh, what to mine. Um, tells me that the, the Zen and the Zek are actually doing better these days. So uh, the wind miner does automatic switching uh, between the, what it thinks is the most profitable mine for my GPU for each individual DPU. You do notice that I have the CPU disabled on both uh, machines. Um, that's my choice. Uh, when I turned them on, the effective rate was like, uh, what, the 33 cents or 23 cents or something, that's some ridiculously low amount. And it pegged the CPUs at 100% and the temperatures went up on, at least on the my gaming rig uh, where I tried it, the temperatures went up to uh, the mid 80s Celsius. So I didn't want to run the gaming machine uh, pegged at 100% uh, CPU utilization at 80, like 85 Celsius for extended period of time for a concern that it would burn out my processor I don't think it would do that immediately uh, or even in the short term, but uh, it's pretty high uh, temperature for that kind of uh, stress on the CPU for a long period of time, so I didn't want to do that. And the difference was really like minuscule, so uh, I decided to disable those on both machines. Uh, it also uh, gives you This information, which is uh, this, is strictly for the uh, my gaming machine. Um, I would get the same display. It's basically a console display. Uh, uh, if I went downstairs and uh, powered up the monitor on the uh, dedicated rig, so you see it says a Zek at uh, 94 cents a day, which matches what it shows down here. The uh, the bottom row the at, oh, sorry, the top row at the ZEC at $94 a day. And you can also then see the actual uh, log as the uh, mining activity is occurring. So that's pretty good and I like it. Um, the website also shows you some statistics, some daily statistics. So you can see uh, generally uh, 
The last few days I've been over uh, $3 a day. So that's kind of nice. The uh, On the negative side, um, the, the website has a tendency to uh, uh, partially stop working. Sometimes if I do a refresh, it won't recognize one of the miners. That's not to say that the miner has stopped working, because you can go back to the actual log item up there, and you can see that it's working. It just doesn't show up here, and it shows up as being offline. Kind of strange. So if you uh, refresh the screen, it doesn't seem to make any difference. If you close it and start it back up again, it doesn't make a difference. I had to actually reboot the machine to get it to uh, see both uh, both configure it, both rigs. Uh, the gaming rig and the dedicated rig to be working effectively. Uh, then the other thing is that uh, once in a while, for some reason, the dedicated ring with the GTX 1070 will actually shut down the miner. I haven't figured out why. It doesn't do it all the time. I can go for several days, two, three days, and it's fine, and then it shuts down. Or it'll go for oh, three or four hours, and then it'll shut down. The, the two different rigs aren't that different. Uh, I mean, there's a, probably a fair difference between the two GPUs. Uh, a, six, a 960 and a 1070 are fairly different. Um, the one that's shutting down, which is uh, the uh, rig one, the dedicated rig, it's got uh, eight gigabytes of memory, so it can't be a memory issue. Um, it does have a much slower motherboard processor it's a much older motherboard, although the motherboard has two gigs of memory on it, so it shouldn't be an issue. They're both running uh, Windows 10 with all the updates, most recent updates. So I can't figure out, figure out why the dedicated rig has a tendency to go down once in a while, whereas my gaming machine, it's uh, rock solid. I start it up and it runs, for, just keeps on going. Uh, so uh, there's got to be some difference. I haven't figured out what it is. I did thought for a minute, well, maybe uh, it's because my gaming rig has a UPS on it, and the uh, dedicated rig does not yet have one. I'm uh, looking into that. Um, but I checked the stats on the on the UPS on my gaming machine because it has a nice uh, interface. It's a APC UPS, and it tells me that there haven't been any outages, any uh, cases where the UPS kicked in in the last four weeks. So unless it's a really momentary blip that's turning them turning it off I wouldn't think so but I would think if it was a power issue then the uh, the dedicated rig would actually be down so um, the good news is that if it does uh, stop mining the uh, website will tell me that it goes offline and this will turn gray like the CPU indicator and then I can go down and excuse me and take a look what's uh, what's happening uh, and it turns out that it's it's in the splash screen for Windows 10. I log in, and you go to your desktop, and the the WinMiner is not running. It's not there. Uh, I start it up again, and everything is fine. So for some reason, it's the WinMiner is uh, crashing, although even though the PC is not crashing. Uh, and I can't quite figure out why that is because it's not consistent. I said it uh, can go for a couple hours and go for several, multiple days, and you really don't know. So, but uh, but the mining results seem pretty good to me. Uh, may not be. I really can't tell it to what I was getting on Nighthash because I don't remember. I think it was a qu equivalent amount per day in terms of dollar amounts, but that fluctuates considerably based on the exchange rate of the cryptocurrency. So, if the exchange rate in the, on the currency doubles, then your mining rate per day is going to double. So that's not really a good reflection. I really need to compare it to the hash rates. And I don't have that information for night hash any, uh, at this point. May at some point, uh, if, if night hash comes back up, I'll check it out and see how the hash rates compare. But for now, we're going to go with Midminer. And the fact that the dedicated rig goes down every once in a while, that's no, not terrible. It just means you got to check it uh, periodically. Uh, it's not like I'm making so much money that if it's down for an hour, I'm going to be out a ton of money. <laughs> you know, maybe what a dime or something like that. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe a little more than that. So no big deal. So oh, I wanted to show one other thing. I did start uh, tracking 
me bring it up here. I did start tracking the hash rates on uh, WinMiner for both the GTX 960 and the GTX 1070. And here you can see them. I would check in periodically, see what it was doing, and if it was if the high on either either GPU was uh, higher, I would update the spreadsheet. If it was lower, I'd update it. So you can see the range. It's not a huge range. It's uh, pretty stable, I think. I think the difference is maybe 15 to 20 uh, hashes per second for the Zen and about equivalent for the Zek. Um, so that's, I would say that's not that big a variance. I think I saw a lot bigger variances on 9 hash, uh, but I couldn't quote you numbers because I don't have any more. So I uh, hope that helps. Uh, if you've got either of these two GPUs and want to see what kind of hash rates you're getting yet, if you kind of pick something in the middle between the high and the low, that's probably a pretty good uh, average or typical hash rate that you're going to get. Um, and uh, a little harder to translate that into dollar amounts. Really, I'd have to go to the website to do that, uh, which is which would give you an idea of what the dollar amount per day is. Uh, but that too is going to fluctuate based on volatility and the currency exchange rates. So I hope that helps. And uh, uh, when you go to try to get an account with WinMiner, I hope you're able to get in.